Hello and welcome to Alchemist Swim. I am Alchemist Jen. Thanks for joining me on this fine day. Hope it's an all right one for you. Today's whim of the day is to go over and share some of the prints I did the other day and things that I've been working on for a bit. And then I'm just going to knit because I like to knit and talk and I need to make progress on my silly scarf leg. So makes sense. And thanks for joining me today. Uh, if this is your first time, I am an artist and I like to make weird stuff and make colorful things. So. I have this beautiful cat print today. So it is um, ice dyed fabric that I've stitched up. So you can see one side and the other. And I've just printed on the one side. So this is a hand carved block that I made myself. So woohoo. And then this one has unicorns on it for real. Ta da! Unicorns. How fun is that? And this one has jellyfish on it. And yeah. So, so I um, basically have this section of fabric, which is a big piece of fabric. I dyed it uh, with the intention of being able to make bandanas and um, patches and prints and things. So my thought process behind this size and style is to um, make use of the rest of the yardage after doing the other things that I was going to do with it. So I made some bandanas and wrist cuffs that I put snaps on and then I drew on those and so those were super fun and super amazing. And then this, I was thinking that this could easily be turned into a patch just by stitching it onto something, adding some interfacing and doing some iron on as well as maybe some stitching or just even fabric glue. I mean like anything can, it can do whatever. It could be a coaster, put something on top of it, or just art. You can stick it anywhere. So that's my thought process there. So these are just three of them. I did a whole bunch with blocks that I had already um, had and used for other things. So yay! So yay for printmaking, yay for fabric, and yay for fun design. So a um, so little show and tell there and then I will the next couple nights probably just show some more and then I will be um, showcasing them at uh, Ithaca Festival on next weekend. So coming right up they hopefully will find, some of them will at least find some new homes and I would be thrilled out of my little skull. Uh, so as I talk about other things, I'm just going to pick up my silly scarflet here. So uh, this is a pattern that I, I designed and so it has little holes so that you can pull the scarflet through and then it holds it in place so you can put it on your wrist. You can put it on your head. You can put it on your neck or wherever. You can make a really long one and make a belt. Whatever, whatever, whatever you want. That's the cool thing about making stuff is it can be whatever you want. So I like to encourage that in, um, in anything. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know, what another person made. It can be something that you can modify. You can do whatever you want freedom in that decision making process learning growing is uh, super important um, and then making something that's uniquely yours I mean that's really really cool so this is a fun um, cotton and wool yarn that I have dyed and I just love the way the colors are going through this one so I am super excited to uh, be able to share it with a store in Rochester, New York, Little Button Craft, and I'm going to leave it there for them to enjoy as a sample. Um, so I'm trying to share my uh, things that I make, but also to get people excited about how like the yarn shows up and to know that there's a free pattern available. Um, this one's always going to be a free pattern. Um, and then I'll, I'll make more patterns and work on more designs and more yarn things. So I'm excited. 
about making things, making things is super fun. And then sharing them with people. So I like having things that, um, I talked a little bit about yesterday um, in my video is having things that are accessible. Uh, so making sure that it um, can be uh, found, having things that are available at no you know, cost if possible, or having things that are, um, you know, maybe less expensive or something than, you know, just trying to make sure that, it, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but like, uh, as far as accessibility goes, like, you know, having things that are, are, can be enjoyed by anybody, I guess maybe that's probably where I'm, where I'm going with that, so. And I do appreciate you being here. Appreciate you listening to me ramble. Uh, I do a lot of that. And sometimes it makes sense. Sometimes I'm funny. Um, so I, I tell a lot of uh, jokes. I like to be punny. Um, so you might hear some weird things over time. And I appreciate that you might laugh. And you might not. Or you just maybe sound like to hear me talk. And I'm okay with that too. So... Um, yeah, so I, as I knit away, I'm, I haven't really, I mean, I've knit several things, but like, I wouldn't go out of my way to say I'm a, a knitter necessarily. I mean, like if people ask, are you a knitter? I'm like, yes, I'm a knitter. But, um, you know, there's so many, so many people that knit way more things than I do, that knit way faster than I do. I, I found just learning to knit and then picking it back up again several times just to keep it as something that I would just keep trying to do. Um, you know, it, it really took a lot of focus and um, determination on my part to just keep on, keep on giving it a go. So I think for me, being able to make it my own um, and kind of adapting it to what I want out of it, things that I want to make, um, so for instance, for me, it's really hard for me to make things again. Um, if I feel like I've learned what I wanted to out of the first thing, or um, if I, you know, like something, but if I get stuck on something, I'm not likely to complete it. So what I like about this pattern, for instance, is that it is short, it's sweet. The rows, for instance, I mean, the turning is super, super sweet and simple. So I making progress with minimal effort and I find that super satisfying for my brain <laughs> and um, I don't know it just works for my head so I like uh, I go after things like the that so therefore those are likely going to be the things that I make and share and maybe other people will like that too so I don't know those are my my deep thoughts for the day as I knit away um, so I just washed a whole bunch of yarn. I uh, dyed it last night, so let it cool overnight and um, just gonna let it sit through the day. I'm finding that I'm getting better um, uptake of the colors and um, rather than feeling like I have to wash it right away and it might be still kind of warm and I learned, you know, maybe that the, some of the colors like to actually set and be absorbed different temperatures so you know learning through this whole process adapting my approach but then also trying to make it as relaxed as possible I'm in dying at home and you know after I work someplace else for a whole day and then being able to you know do that and then still be creative and um, you know do the other other things that I, I have on my my to-do list um, for myself so uh, so through that just being mindful of my my artistic practice you know what kind of um, I guess energy I'm bringing into it what kind of what am I getting out of it and then how do I feel while I'm um, producing so I do find that the process of making a video every day um, is probably helped me with that to some degree too I when I realized that um, I needed to show up for myself creatively like in these videos every day um, and that's why I'm posting every day uh, it also helped me to see 
just a bit about my process and um, you know being able to partition things out it's a, it's not about not always about you know getting something done but having progress in something so um, so it doesn't all have to be done right away um, there can be pauses there can be reflection there can be um, space uh, through through making things so I mean some things that need to happen within certain time frames you know are fine but then it's also allowing there to be breaks in between I think is is healthy being able to see it from different lights um, I am kind of thinking about um, something else that I do creatively too is uh, bread making so I make um, sourdough bread I have a starter so that takes the dedication of feeding it and I feed it every day I'm, I'm not one to put it in the fridge and let it rest and go dormant I I'm, I'm an everyday person if I'm in it I'm in it and <laughs> it's just just works well with my brain um, so so with that when I want to make um, like a loaf of bread it becomes like a multi-day process too because also making sure that my timing that I'm doing my feeding is going to work out with when I want to do the bulk fermentation and when I want to do the proofing and so um, there's thought and a, like a little bit of energy here and there and it's spread out versus um, you know like a lot all at once in one go so uh, I think I find my the things that I make artistically are kind of similar in that too there's many steps um, and separation of processes in the things that I make so if I'm doing printing if I'm doing dyeing a fabric then I'm sewing another day then I'm printing another day and then from here like I I printed those a few days ago so they've been curing and setting and then um, in a couple more days I'll iron them and so they are made with uh, dyed with um, fabric printmaking ink but I also you know because I've read and looked into things and I find the re I like the result of it um, I like to iron them too so ironing them just kind of I, I find it's a finishing process for for me with my um, you know fabrics or my um, tapestries and and with these as well being able to iron them um, it just kind of is part of that completion and then from there being able to um, document them uh, label them if I need to um, put them up on a website there's like little like everything's got a little thing um, and then there's steps along the way so having a little bit of progress goes a long way because I get one step done today then I'm ready for the next step um, the other thing I do with that creative process is I'll set myself up for the steps so like for instance um, yesterday with dyeing yarn I made sure that I was set to do it so like my area set up um, before I even get to that point so I, I got my pans ready I got my my burners ready I got um, the yarn soaking in the morning but I had everything set up so I could make it as smooth as possible um, and then you know all those little steps definitely make it so much easier when you go to do the actions there's less barriers um, I think menti mentally and physically um, without feeling like overwhelmed by the whole process so a lot of rambling today some knitting I got some rows in and uh, yeah so that's the whim of the day printmaking, dyeing, yarn making, yarn dyeing, a um, little bit of everything today. It's been a pleasure having you. I hope you're having a good day. I hope it continues to be one or maybe you can turn around and have a nice one. Um, we'll see where the whim takes us tomorrow. Toodaloo.